Only three pairs remain now. Sue and Roger, what about the, you? You're the only of our pairs to have your scores in double figures. Everyone else in triple figures. Look at that. And Roger, you're our lowest individual scorer there, so very well done. Anyway, best of luck to all three pairs. Our category for round two this afternoon is board games. Can you all decide in your pairs who's going to go first, who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. Okay, let's find out what the question is. Here it comes. We gave 100 people 100 seconds to name as many two-word spaces on the Monopoly board as they could. Richard? Yes, yeah, simply looking for any space on the classic London Monopoly board, please, that has two words only. Please don't say in jail or just visiting. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Okay, so Suji, we come to you first. Yeah, I'm probably going to... I don't know if this is a risk or not, but I'm going to say it. Uh, water bill? Water bill. Yeah. Okay, water bill, says Suji. Let's see if that's right. I'm afraid not water bill. That scores you 100 points. But at least now you know whether it was a risk or not. Yes, that's true. Uh, it turns out it was. Yeah, it was. It was indeed. Now, Sue, what are you going to go for? Uh, one that came straight to mind was Fenchurch Street Station. Okay. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Fenchurch Street Station for their, for their two-word space on the board. Okay. Bad luck, Sue. It's, it's, you know, yeah, there we are. Um, that's caused you 100 points. It has started off ever so well this round, everybody. And I did not think we'd see the level of risk that we are taking. Yeah. To go for a three-word square for a two-word, I mean, that really, that's, that's, that's tightrope walking of the high. I'm sorry it didn't pay off for you. It would have been lovely, this, it'd been lovely if it had. No, it's, uh, I can't, I just couldn't take it. I think you're right, too. I'm sorry. No, I think you were. I think you were. Thank you very much. Okay, now, Holly, good luck. Really don't want to be the third hundred on this so far, but um, I'm going to say Pow Mal. <laughs> Never have we had a reaction like that before. <laughs> Pow Mao says, Holly, let's see how many of our 100 people said that. Pow Mao. It's right. Down goes the 40. Very well done indeed. Very well done, Holly. Yeah, Casanova once lived on Pow Mao briefly. Of course he did. And they, yeah, used to commute yeah. in from Fenchurch Street Station. <laughs> moved out when his water bill was too big. Yeah. Right, right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Casanova. Interesting. On Pal Mal. Is, it, is there a plaque there for him? I hope there is. Well, there's probably there's plaques for everyone on Pal Mal, aren't there? That's true. Thank you. Well, before we head back up the line, let's just remind ourselves of the scores. Only two scores between the three. 140. Well done, Holly and Michael, for being the 40. Uh, we're going to come back down the line now. Well, the second players, please step up to the podium. <laughs> So then, Michael, remember, we're looking for any space on the Monopoly board which has a name consisting of exactly two words. <laughs> Vine Street. Vine Street, says Michael. Here is your red line. If you can get below this, that red line, even at this early stage, you are into the head-to-head. -head. How many people said Vine Street? It's right. You are through. Look at that. Down goes Vine Street to 13. Fantastic. 53 is your Very well played, Michael. That's a plumber who's been on call outs all over London, isn't it? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, now, Roger. Well, Vine Street was my answer. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm going to have to go for Covent Garden. Okay, Covent Garden, says Roger. Let's see what happens when we say Covent Garden. No red line for you as you're currently the high scorers. Joint high scorers. No, bad luck. I'm afraid that scores your 100 points, takes your total up to 200. I have some good news for you, though, which is it is two words. <laughs> so that, that is, as, as a couple, you are learning. Good. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Now then, Sujan, here we are. You have a target of 99 or less. Yeah, um, so 
I think I'm going to go for community chest. Community chest, yeah. says Sir John. Here is your red line. Get below that, you're into the head-to-head. -head. How many people said community chest? It's right and you're through. Well done. Darren goes to 19. Very well done indeed. 119 is your total. It's a face for you in the head-to-head. You have to admire the calmness with which Sujan ended that round for us. After the carnage before you, just absolutely, <laughs> you knew exactly what you were doing. Congratulations, well done. No pointless answers at all, so I'm going to take you through the low scorers. Um, you got a guess on this one? Um, free parking. Free parking. 17. Mm. Not oh, terrible. Oh, super tax, that was Super tax that. is a good answer. Super tax would have scored you four. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a street, which is the lowest score of all. Two points, if you said Marlborough Street. Four points for super tax and income tax. Seven points for Pentonville Road, Whitechapel Road, and an electric company. Nine for Northumberland Avenue. Ten for Euston Road. Uh, Eleven for Coventry Street, which I think is what you were thinking about, Roger. We all, we all saw what happened. <laughs> um, you would have got 11 as well for Bow Street. Waterworks, Suji, would have scored 14 points. Uh, 15 for Marlebone Station. Do you see how that's only got two words in it, the station there, <laughs> Marlebone Station? 15 as well for Fleet Street. Uh, 24 for Leicester Square, 25 for Oxford Street, Trafalgar Square, 26 for Regent Street, Bond Street 27, and the biggest score of all, Park Lane 42. Thank you very much indeed. Well, we are at the end of our second round, which means we have to say goodbye to another pair. Roger and Sue, I'm afraid it is you, Doom, we must say goodbye. We'll see you next time, though. And uh, I I'm, have absolutely no doubt you'll soar through to the head to head and beyond. But uh, meantime, thank you very much indeed, Roger and Sue. <laughs> the remaining two pairs.